Let's solve this question. It's a very interesting question. You will have to understand everything that's given really, really thoroughly and that will require a very careful read of everything. So let's begin. A manufacturing company plans to begin automating production and reducing its workforce by installing industrial robots at the start of each year over five years. So there are going to be five years, year one, year two, all the way till year five. And at the start of each year, they are going to install robots with the goal to what? Automate production and reduce workforce overall. Now, what is the benefit of this? That's what's told next. It says each robot will result in annual labor cost savings of 150,000 euros beginning with the year of its installation. That means it's not like they will start becoming useful from the next year, the same year that they are installed, which is as we saw here, which is at the beginning here at the start of each year when you're doing installation from that very year it is going to result in annual labor cost savings of this much simply because workforce is reduced so labor cost comes down and this is not happening for free there will be some up installation cost for the robot itself which is here an upfront cost of 400,000 euros so if we really understand what one robot is doing to the company First, it has its own cost of installation, which is this 400,000. It's upfront. It's, it's a one-time cost. And then the benefit that it brings to the company, the saving that it brings, that is 150,000. So this is what one robot is doing to the company. Now, for robot installation, in year one of the program where everything is beginning, it says the company will budget 600,000 euros plus the total amount of labor costs that will be saved by robotic production in that year. So very, very important information. Here it is telling me something about year one. It is saying that in year one, the company has a certain budget for this installation. And what is this budget? It is 600,000 plus something. So first, I'll at least put the 600,000 plus how much more that means that much more is your budget plus the total amount of labor costs that will be saved by the robotic production that year now saving depends on how many robots i install right because this saving this per year saving is for each robot that i install so i don't know in year one how many am i going to install so suppose i say that x is the number of robots installed in year one then i can really say that the total saving that will come from these will be 100 150,000 times X. This then is the total budget for year one. Now let's read further. The robot installation budget for each subsequent year. Okay, so first year we found, now we're talking about budget again, but for subsequent year, it will be what? Read carefully. Total amount of labor costs that will be saved by robotic production in that year. First of all, if I'm talking about say the second year or the third year, then this is the total savings that will happen because of all of the production in that year plus plus any money left over from the previous year's robot installation budget. So this is interesting. Now, whatever is left over from the previous year's budget will decide the budget for the next year, which means if I want to talk about year two, then I have to know how much is the saving coming from year one. And that saving is just one part, of course, because you see it's plus this saving. Before that, you also have the total saving that will come from that particular year's installation, all of the robots in that year. So let me try to write first the thing which does not depend on the previous year, which is this. Now again, I have to know how many are installed in this year to think about the total saving. So this is number of robots installed in year two. Then when I talk about the budget, the first part of the budget is equal to the saving from these. Now, is it just the saving from these Y coming at 150,000? No, you also have these robots that are already installed in the previous year, which means I still can't put a number here. I can write it as Y plus X, but better will be that I really work on this part first, because anyway, I also have to see what is the money left over here in year two. That means I will go to year two later. First, I'll completely understand year one here. So only and only focus here. This is the total budget. And if X is the number of robots I'm installing, what is the cost actually? That is 400,000 per robot, which means means the total actual cost will be 400,000 X because X is the number. This way then I had a certain budget, but this is the actual cost that happened. Now it's not necessary that my budget was completely exhausted. That is why the situation comes that money left over from the previous years can happen. From the budget, there can be money left over. What is that money left over? It is equal to the budget minus the cost. So when I do that, this is 600,000 plus 150,000 X 
this minus 400,000 X. Now, when you do this, you will see that, of course, the two X's can be worked on. But now it's a certain expression in terms of X. What do I do with this? How do I get anything about X? Well, simply think this leftover money has to be greater than equal to zero. I can't have negative leftover money. Now, it can never happen that it's negative because I can never spend more than my budget was. Either I'm spending exactly equal to the budget or less than that. Now, when I simplify this inequality, I will get a range for x. You will get that x is less than or equal to 2.4, which means the actual number of robots that I could install in the first year, it's anything less than or equal to 2.4, either 0 or 1 or 2. All of these are allowed. Now, at this point, which is the value that I should use for year 2? How do I decide what my savings are? Because the answer will change based on what the actual value of x is. So, at this stage, I will need to pause my work here and read the question further. Please come back because we sure some more information will be there so we have understood how year two budget will be decided based on all of this all of the you know savings that new savings that can come in terms of labor cost plus the leftover from the previous year so the structure is clear but filling the values requires a little bit more knowledge a little bit more information which we probably will now get from the question stem only because we've completely used up the text if you found the analysis of this data set helpful then hit that like button so that other gmat aspirants can also learn from it and to stay tuned with such content hit the subscribe button below now to take your learning to the next level we have put together a free trial in which you can experience content in all the sections tested on gmat focus edition for example you can build your CR pre-thinking skills, you can learn how to approach statistics questions in graphics interpretation as part of DI, you can learn everything about linear inequalities as tested on the GMAT Focus Edition and a lot of other content. The link for this is in the description. Now let's get back to the question at hand. So let's look at the question stem now. Here you go. Okay, it says within budget constraints, you're staying within budget, the maximum number of robots that can be installed in year one is X. Okay, and that's the first quantity. So I will now already come back. I actually have X. The maximum number in year one, as I can see from these three, is two. So without doing anything further, I have the answer for the first blank already. So I'll just simply write two here and mark two for X. Now let's read further. And this is maximum for year one. And maximum number of robots that can be in service in year three is Y. So now I will have to extend whatever I understood from, you know, my analysis till here and continue till I reach year three. Because it says maximum in year three also, at every stage, if I keep getting a range, I will always just take the maximum number that I can install. So now I need to know year two Total, how much will be the labor cost savings? Think about it. First will be because of the why new robots installed. Second will be because of these two robots that were installed in the previous year. These two are also going to still lead to savings in labor cost. See how, therefore, the first part, which was about how much labor cost will save, is giving me this expression. Now I need to just find the leftover. So let's see the leftover again from year one. This is straightforward. You had budget, you had a cost, you had a leftover, you had this expression for leftover also. And now since you know the value of X, you can get exactly how much the leftover is. Simply, I am going to, let's just see, I'm just combining these two pieces of information to get the exact left over by simply putting the value of uh, x as 2. So this is going to be 100,000. This then is also a part of the next year's budget according to this information plus any money left over from previous budget. So this 100,000 I'm going to put here in the left over which gives me my total budget for year 2 as 150,000 times y plus 2 plus 100,000. This is the complete budget for year two. Okay, I just made it slightly neater. Now, because my goal is to answer till year three, remember what the blank was? In service in year three. That means I will have to do all of this processing that I did from year one to two and continue it from year two to three as well. The logic is still going to be exactly the same. You know, the, the savings that all of the robots in that year will bring 
plus any money left over from year two. So to find what is left over from year two, I again have to use the budget along with the actual cost for year two, which now we can simply continue since we've understood the pattern now. So if the total cost I want to see for year two, it is obviously because Y robots were installed. Total cost is going to be 400,000 times Y. Leftover obviously is again equal to budget minus cost. When you do the subtraction, you will get 400,000 minus 250,000 Y. Yet again, we'll use the same logic that leftover has to be greater than or equal to zero, which will give you a range for Y, which will be equal to Y is less than or equal to 1.6. Again, if it's less than or equal to 1.6, we know it can either be zero or one, but because at all times I'm doing the maximum installation, we are going to install one robot more in year two. So then using this value of Y in this expression for leftover, I get the actual value of leftover as 400,000 minus 250, which is 150,000. Euros. At this point, let me ask you this. Could you have arrived at the approach of solving this question with this level of clarity had you not spent the effort in thoroughly understanding the information presented? Such is the power of the process of owning the data set. And because this skill may not come naturally to many of you, we have created a course architecture that ensures that we teach you this skill through every guided quiz in the EGMAT DI course and we reinforce the same in every practice quiz. In fact, in the TPA quant modules in the two-part analysis course, we teach you how to get comfortable with this question type. You will gain the confidence to handle any question of this type in the most efficient manner. We serve more than 58 specially curated questions at the right progression so that you can learn various aspects of this question type, including the process skills of inference, translate and visualize. Thus, throughout the DI course, through around 500 questions, you will learn such process skills so that you can also comfortably use the owning the data set approach. Let's now get back to the solution at hand. This then goes into my year three. So again, we'll set up the whole situation the exact same way. Look very carefully. Year three is also going to have a budget, which will be equal to the total labor savings that all of the robots still here will do, plus the leftover. Let me just write the leftover first since I found that. Plus, now let's think about the saving. So the saving is 150,000 per robot. And how many robots still here then? First of all, it's obviously the two from year one, the one from year two, and then new installation for this year, which is say Z, then saving will come from there as well. This is your total budget. Total cost for these Z will be 400,000 Z. Yet again, leftover is something, something. I will again have to just this time stop at the value of Z. I will no longer calculate exact leftover. So leftover is again budget minus cost. When I do this subtraction, what do I get? This will be 600,000 minus 250,000. This is your expression for leftover. And finally, because this has to be greater than or equal to zero, sorry, there's a Z here as well. Then this gives me a range for Z as Z less than or equal to 2.4, which means I could install zero or one or two. But because I want the maximum in year three, this two is going to be my answer. So we finally have our value. This is a total of what? Maximum number of robots in service in year three. So be careful. It's the total we're talking about. We had two from year one, one from year two and maximum of two from year three. So this is five. If you're not careful and you just mark the third year, so third year uh, new installation, that would be two. So be very careful about this. We're done now. Let's summarize this very interesting question. Lots of translation, as I said up front, there will be a lot of inferences you'll have to draw. And it's highly important that you own the data set. Otherwise, doing this can be a nightmare. So we started first by understanding what each robot means to the company. Then we went into this work year by year, year one, budget was separately defined and you know based on this budget and the cost we got the leftover that year one could have since leftover had to be greater than or equal to zero we got a range for x some possible values then we took hints from the question stem to see that we really needed the greatest possible x here and that's what gave us the value of x as two which is installation in year one all subsequent year budgets were dependent on the leftover from the previous year along with the new saving labor saving that could happen in that year so that way we wrote the expression for year two, we were careful to remember the two from the previous year, these two robots that were installed, because if you don't do that and just keep 150,000 Y here, you will see you come to a complicated situation. You will not get the answer. Again, because you ultimately wanted maximum in year three, you took one from here. You repeated finally for year three. This is something that now, since you're done for year two, it was relatively straightforward. You were just repeating the process. Ultimately, then total in operation in year three were the, was the sum of these three values and you got your answer. That's it.